Oh no. Cybertruck versus Rivian. Which one is a better off-roader? Let's find out. So this is actually the first time we're off-roading as we enter into LA River. We gotta go through the homeless camp first. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, here's the first time this Cybertruck is seeing mud, and this counts as a river, right? It is a river, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the LA River. Let's bust out the measuring tape. Come on down. All right, we're looking at just under 16 inches right here. Oh wait, no, no, the Rivian's clear is supposed to be 14.9. I think from this outside plastic frame, it looks like just under 16, but real clearance is 14.9. So that looks realistic, right? Yeah, okay. So Should let's check the Cybertruck. Cybertruck's real clearance is 17 inches. It looks lower. <laughs> on, on, on the books, it should be 17 inches. Let's see. This is way lower than 17. Yep, it's we, definitely we lower. We gotta raise it up. <laughs> so what we're actually gonna do is the Rivian is gonna come up here and try and go up this angled ramp. It looks like when we did our measurements, the Rivian looks a little bit higher in what it can actually get up to, but the Cybertruck can't get as high as the Rivian. So we don't know if that was because of a software thing or something, but we're gonna see if both of these trucks can take this same angle right here, which is a little bit of an off-road test. Ooh, <laughs> you're good. It's clear, right? Yeah, it's clear, way clear. Oh, shit. Dude, you're sliding back. Am I? Yeah, a little bit. Or well, I don't know if like, I don't know if the, the wheels are sliding, but the car is sliding. I think you're good. I think it's stable now, no? It's stable now, yeah. The back wheels are completely on the ramp, right? Completely on the ramp. All right, nice. Ooh, ooh. You're good. You're good. You're good. Now it's time for the Cybertruck's turn to take this same angle. I don't know actually, I kind of have my doubts on this. Like the Rivian definitely has a higher ride clearance. I'm not sure the Cybertruck is made for this type of urban off-roadness, but we'll see if it actually can take the same angle here with the same clearance, but it gets a little bit sketchy when the truck gets up there on top of the hill like that. All right, so let's see, I don't, I, I got my doubts. I do not think this is gonna be able to make it. You're good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Back it up, back it up. Back, 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 back. Back. So just as I thought, the front cleared pretty easily, but the back definitely did not clear. All right, so now we're gonna try to go more at an angle to see if the rear clears. Front was fine, it's just the rear, it starts scraping at the bottom, but I guess you can remove these plastic parts, so it's fine. You're good, oh shit. No, okay, back it up. I think what happens is the rear steering starts to mess with it and it makes it dip even more, but we're gonna try one more time. You're good. Oh no. All right, never mind. I, I, I think it's just not as capable. Let's take a look really quick again. I remember seeing like if there was like an off-road mode, but I thought that this was it. Dynamics. Oh. Off-road mode enables Cybertruck to traverse a variety of surfaces. Off-roads, off-road poses greater rift. 
Okay. Confirm. It must be raising right now then. Extract. All right, so now it's raising to off-road mode, which is, this is what they talk about, the 17 inches of clearance. All right, so right now it's at 16 inches, give or take, 15.98. We're gonna try it one more time. Supposedly it's supposed to get up to 17, so, but we'll see. It's given us issues because I think we've been messing around too much with the up and down, but we're gonna try it one more time. Okay, so it just needed to move a little bit. Now it's saying 17, he says. 16.9. The front looks good. You're good, you're good in the front. All right, it cleared. Rivian's gonna go up now so they can get side by side. <laughs> you get a little scared there? Nope, I figured it was gonna drop. So both of them could handle the same curve, but still, it was a definitely a little bit more dicey, and probably because they were first time Cybertruck owners. Rivian owners, ChargeGo, they've been around the truck a lot more longer than we have, but cool to see that both of these trucks are more than capable in handling this I guess weird off-road test. So let us know your thoughts on it. Thanks to ChargeGo for bringing out their Rivian R1T to compare it against the Cybertruck, but which one are you buying?